zurück. All right, all right, all right. Haven't done one of these in a while. Um, today's not uh, psychic predictions, but they'll be back in the future and much more exciting things to come. And yeah, um, the gaming's going really well. Just having a break from it because we're in isolation. I've been doing gaming nonstop and I've got a feeling you guys are getting sick of it and we're getting sick of it too. So um, timelines. Now this one's quite interesting in the fact, um, what would have happened if the family was to stay in Melbourne and not move to Gippsland? <clears throat> interesting. I think the BAM families would have benefited the most uh, would have been the Smiths, uh, Gray and Winnie Smith. Uh, they would have benefited the most. Um, what would have happened is that there would have been a whole lot less work on for Gray, and not only that, uh, Jordan would get his cert too in hot, uh, not in horticulture, in um, cooking. And the family would have been proud of that, and he would have been a badass as a cook. Um, and yeah, so he would have got his cert too in cooking, but he would not get the pamphlet drop-offs. But in this timeline, Jordan actually got the pamphlet drop-offs and not the um, cooking insert too. So that's very interesting in itself. So again, there's more work prior to the family without us uh, being there. They still would have got a gun, and the gun would have been um, Eddie, um, Eddie would have been under the pump and various bits and pieces looking after his own plus thingos and cans and various bits and pieces like that. So, um, yeah, very, very interesting for that family indeed. So that's the timeline as far as the Smiths are concerned. Not much has changed with um, um, Gray and Winnie. Things just remain the same and various bits and pieces. And... Um, um, just a little bit less work for growth. So that's that's the first change, various bits and pieces. Now, as far as broken hearts and various bits and kids, bits and pieces like that are concerned, um, um, that would have still continued. Um, instead of me being in parks and gardens, which is my number one job, and YouTube being my number two, um, I would have been in the nursery section. Now, the difference there is my plant ID knowledge will be the th through the roof. Like, I would know everything. And you might even get a, um, a tractor's license or something like that to put the mulch into the people's utes and to people's trucks and things and various bits and pieces and why they go in various bits and pieces and for you to continue on with the potting and various bits and pieces like that. So um, that's, that's all being said. So, Trey, just give me a second and I'll kick this dog in the ass. Yeah, you know what the best one is to shut him to shut up. Um, as far as the dogs are concerned, the dogs' timeline remains exactly the same. Um, Nancy's and Gemma's timeline remains exactly the same, although Nancy may not fear as much because we would have been in Melbourne and not in Gippsland. So she may live for one or two months longer. You really don't know as a result of us moving to um, Gippsland on that. So you, you really don't, you really don't know. So that's a little bit of history t changing time. Um, as far as, far as my father's concerned with golf, um, the presidency at Lakes Entrance, that would have all been cancelled. But there would have been two group changeovers as far as Honeydale's 
is concerned, like something would have happened, there would have been a Thursday group and there would have been a Saturday group and then they just go off and playing golf. So that sort of remains the same, but there will be difference and conflicts and various bits and pieces and blah, blah, blah. Um, the other thing too is as far as AFL football is concerned, Collingwood would have definitely won the flag that year, not um, West Coast because we would have stayed in Melbourne and that's the timeline and the timeline shift and various bits and pieces. So that is quite huge as far as that's concerned. Getting back to the heartbreak and various bits and pieces, yes, there would have been a love interest at the nursery like there was in Parks and Gardens, but that would have fallen and... Your employers would say, Darren, we want you to do more more study and various bits and pieces, which will be fine. So maybe the timeline from Rotary to work is I would have got my Cert 3 in um, um, Business and Management, which would have been great, as well as my Cert 3 in Parks and Gardens. Um, as far as the Paul Harris fellow is concerned, I'm not going to talk that about on camera because people would just go out shit and various bits and pieces like that. And in time, you may like to consider to see a lawyer or various bits and pieces or something like that if it continues to happen in the way how it sort of progresses. So that's another key fact about timelines and various bits and pieces like that. And the reason why there's so much problems with far as charitable work is concerned, as far as rotaries and lions and other bits and pieces, uh, it's not government funded. So if it was government funded, um, chances are it will be success, it'll be better, you'll get more members, there'll be people in there that know what they're doing and people will want to start doing these charitable organisations again. So I think that's a real... I think I right there, just kick the dog in the ass. Just a pooping machine, everyone. Just bear with me and see how that's all turning out. Oh, I need seven minutes into the thing. Okay, so that's that's all being said and good. Now, as far as the apprenticeships concerned, as far as Darren's horticulturist, that would have been back in 2005 and 2006. Um, here's where it gets a little bit interesting. The timeline will remain exactly the same. Not much will... Um, changed. Uh, I understand that Celeste made a huge bid to become my guardian angel. Uh, every man and his dog has got issues with Gabrielle. I mean, that's just crazy. And to think that St. Michael just gets at home each night and walks his dog around thinking, fuck, there's nothing I can do about this. It's just a butcher and People from Earth are complaining and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I get that. I I, I understand that. Um, I understand where Gabrielle sits, but um, I just wish I was Kratos from God of War and just getting up there and just bashing his head against the decks and saying, dude, you, you can't treat women in that way. Like, this girl's put her heart and soul into this and at the end of the day it's really Darren's decision to be made not other forces or various bits and pieces it's it's you so um let me know in the comments if you've had difficulties with Gabrielle and I might be able to help you out on the way to say well explain to you on why these circumstances actually do occur. Um, 
uh, Celeste will become a spirit guide in time. I've made that clear to my local psychic, so she's going to get a nice little promotion and she'll be able to see other planets, other universes and other galaxies and she will learn from my guides in various bits and pieces and who knows, when it comes to my time from retiring from Darren sort of cultures, maybe Celeste will be the first person in there as my guardian angel. So at the end of the day, she wins. So um, it was a huge kick in the guts when the universe said, no, you can't do it. But um, another reason why I want to strangulate the universe at the end of the day is it's not the universe's decision to make the decision that needs to be made is you, right? So there you have it. So, um, that being said, moving along, getting back to, um, Europe, the Euro trip that we went on in first bits and pieces. This is before YouTube, what we even knew. It existed. We went to a trip for, for Europe and various bits and pieces like that and blah, blah, blah. That's why you didn't see it on the trip 2005. Um, the time period there, which would have been, yes, we would have gone to Europe and various bits and pieces, but your boss would have said, uh, Mary Liz would have phoned the boss and said, can we have holidays? The boss would have gone, absolutely, it's yours, blah, blah, blah. Take it, go, enjoy your trip and have a wonderful time. The only thing is... Your boss might say, Darren, we kind of want you to go home because there's a bit of excitement happening with your family. There's been a success that sort of happened and we want you to uh, go home and enjoy that um, success. So, um, which is obviously the trip to Europe, which we went on in 2008. So that timeline remains exactly the same. That doesn't alter. That doesn't, you know, that's... That's exactly the same. That doesn't change. Um, so, yeah, so... Moving back to Gippsland, yes, there's families and various bits and pieces that did happen, and yes, there are families, and in a mirror and other sources and bits and pieces like that that did happen in Gippsland. What well, they would have happened in Melbourne, I would say no. Time time would have jumped, would have happened with Celeste. I don't know that, but that might happen after two or three coronations down the track she's just got to get through a couple of relationships and marriages and various bits and pieces like that and blah 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 and um all that jazz so that's all good um everybody fucks up in social there isn't a human being alive that doesn't fuck up in social so let me know in the comments if you've been successful in your social life in various bits and pieces and, um, you know, um, that's all good. Um... As far as all that's concerned, that's the show on timelines. So, yeah, there's a lot to sort of dig in in various bits and pieces. If you have any questions about timelines, moving areas, or various bits and pieces like that, let me know, and we'll get them sorted and straighted out for you. Okay, cheers.